Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the first ever Shield Watches for Del Toro Quest. And I know you are pleasantly surprised by this magnis magnificent menu screen with no music going on whatsoever. Yeah, um, let's just ignore that for right now. Anyway, I'm sure many of you are wondering, Hey, what is this? What are you doing? And why did you pick this show? Well... When I was doing my another review, which hopefully many of you have watched and is hopefully still up because of copyright, but I have been fighting that. Anyway, you're probably wondering, why are you doing Del Toro Quest? Well, because a long, long time ago when I was a fifth grader, I got into reading through these books. Now, for all of you U.S. viewers right now, for all of you... Ah, for all of you U.S. viewers, you will know, you will probably know the Del Toro Quest books by uh, Emily Rhoda. She wrote them, and they are uh, pretty popular to my, at least to not my knowledge. I don't know how popular they are, but I think they're popular enough to get in Japanese anime, which is pretty weird. But yeah, I found this when I was doing research for my another review, and I wanted to do it. Um, recently I picked up the books back up, and I've been hopefully reading far enough to get ahead of the show. Right now I have the first book done, so I'm hoping to get a couple episodes down today with this recording progress. Um, hopefully I will have the rest of the books done by the time as this series continues, because I want this to be sort of kind of a let's watch slash commentary to compare the anime to the books. Um, I'm gonna put this right out of the way. I have no idea the quality of the show. I plan on doing all 52 episodes of the show as a Let's Watch, but I don't know. This show may be terrible, but hopefully it's not. And if it is terrible, well, I'm hoping I can carry it with some entertaining commentary, but I don't know. I'm by myself. So, let's find out. Anyway, let's get this started with play all and here we go all right based on the story by Emily Rhoda so yeah in case any of you were blind oh hey you started and I just noticed that the aspect ratio is a bit yeah uh, well, the only way I could find this show was on DVDs. There are no Blu-rays, and I'm not expecting Blu-rays for a kid's show. But anyways, yeah, these are based on the Scholastic books by Emily Rhoda. Uh, they are called Del Toro Quest 2. And I'm interested to see how this turns out. Wow, that CG is amazing. But once again, children's show. Anyway, let's start at the beginning. Dad, Jared, hammering his iron. Oh, Barda. Barda, Barda, Barda. Hey, Leaf. Where are you? A little bit more emotion, Jared. He might not be able to hear you if you're muttering like that. Leaf! What is it, my love? Leaf has already gone to town, to the market. The mar market? Don't you remember? Today is his 16th birthday. Oh, that looks awful, but hey, once again, children's show. <laughs> the Black Hand. Listen carefully, all of you. As of today, these fruit trees have been deemed the property of the Shadow Lord. The property of the no Shadow Lord. Lord of gates. all the shadows. <laughs> um, little girl, I'd suggest you don't approach that man. What was that? No, dear. You must Listen not. to your mother. Please forgive her. She's just a child. Why can't I have an apple? Because they're the property of the that Shadow Lord. All yeah. Everything with the brand on it belongs exclusively to the Shadow Lord. Uh, this is kind of like the book so far. Punished. There are apples Please involved don't. in the later chapter, chapter of the first book, but this isn't exactly how events play out. Nope, nope, don't do it. Don't, no, nope. why did you do that? They're going to kill you now. Who's there? Who's there? 
mysterious I can't shining. See. You're saying everything young branded and, belongs young to the and Shadow whatever. Lord. Well, I don't see a brand on that apple she's holding. Ha ha ha! Therefore, how clever of you! To Too bad that little girl's about to get lynched. Catch that maggot! Okay, what did you just do? You throw a rock? Oh no! Run away! Oh uh, wow, it's pretty nimble for climbing up a uh, park. Okay, oh, uh, what? What? I don't remember them having fire bombs. Wow. The adventure begins! Oh my goodness, get hyped. And there, there's Jared. a fire. Jared, there's trouble! What's the matter? There's smoke coming from the market! What? The market? Oh no. As you can tell, the people here are oppressed. <laughs> and smashing everybody's homes that are apparently made out of wood. Well, most homes are made out. Oh, wait, Barda, how'd you get there? You were just in the. Ah. Oh, children show. I gotta remember that. Well, this is pretty extensive lengths for an apple. I guess the uh, Shadow Lord has very severe penalties in place, but yeah, whatever. At least crime rate, at least crime rate slow. Where did he go? Thanks to this magical rope, Leaf escaped. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know, the main character's name is Leaf. They probably mentioned that nearly a earlier episodes, and I don't remember that ornament being there. I do remember that, though. That is in the books. Life had not always been this way. There had been a time when the people of the land had known peace and prosperity. When seven tribes lived in coexistence. And now we got the backstory tribe, going on. The guardian of a gem Funny enough, the books actually powers. started out with the backstory then, first, from the and then trans lands, transitioned into this part. Greedy eyes but uh, I cl clearly they're alternating from the books a little bit. The seven tribes were Not sure which I like be better is, so far, but let's continue to watch. From among the ranks of the people, his name was Arden. Arden. A blacksmith by trade. Auden dreamt of a belt that would unite the seven gems, and with it, the tribes, to make Del Tora unconquerable. Unconquerable! So it was that they drove the Shadow oh, Lord from their season. lands. But this was not the end of the story. You can tell it's old by the aspect For the Shadow ratio. Lord merely lay in wait, his anger and envy burning through the ages. Oh, that's still Auden poorly drawn. The first king As with Tora, that, and he ruled nobody the land there in the face. In time, however, the power of the belt was forgotten. The Shadow Lord saw his opportunity. The Look at that CG. On the and the that's where the budget is, guys. The gems were scattered to seven of the most dangerous places well, imaginable. Well, okay, that's kind of a spoiler right there. The when the book the actually starts, they don't hard. know where the gems are at. There were no I mean, I guess you can figure out that the seven the gems are in seven places, but vanquished. still. Well, those guys got demolished. Wait. Yep, they're dead. And so the Shadow Lord came to rule Deltora. Casting the land and its people into poverty and despair. Poverty and despair. The last king, Endon, fled the palace under a cloud of shame. Well, there is more to it than that, but I'm Bara. guessing they're saving it for a recap episode or something. Many years have passed since we decided to hide and wait, but now our waiting is almost over. I can sense it. Our patience will soon pay off. <sighs> Follow. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. I am, I am not your humble service. service, my lord. I, I am the comic relief, a uh, minion. Thanks to you, my lord. Yeah, this and wasn't in the book. Guards. So I don't know how well this is going to pay out. Everything is Funny quite enough, there's control. actually a character you called Palindrine, I believe, in the book. My lord. Allow me to serve you better. Um, he's actually a follower of the, the Shadow Lord, but he gets off you, in like, the later chapters, so maybe that's course, him, I'll but I didn't really get a clear hearing of his name. How dare you hope to know the location of those gems? 
Or a game my insolence about wondering about where the gems are located so I can protect the them. Of not steal them. Certainly not steal them. There's Leaf. Barda, where's my father? He's in the forge, young master. I told you to stop calling me that. I've got a name. Leaf. I'm so glad you're okay. So, Leaf, did you get in trouble with the Grey Guards again? No. Answer me. Jared, please. Yes, Father. But I'm not afraid of the Grey Guards like everyone else like is. Like everyone the book, else the Belt of Del Toro tells us that the only thing able to defeat the Shadow Lord is... Yeah, the belt itself, I know. But our king is either dead or hiding like a coward while the rest of us are stuck here suffering under the Shadow Lord. I can't Why just is, stand uh, aside looks and like do his eyebrows nothing. are different color there. My son. Yeah, um, Jared's eyebrows are a different color. Book, in case you didn't know that, Jared is Leaf's but... dad. I wonder if that's a stylistic Father, choice or maybe they just know that I have... had some kind of so disagreement Father. in the animation company. Yes. I don't know who made Would this, by the way. The I can check the back it of the box here pretty fast, but for right now, let's just pay yes, attention sir. to what's going on. A box. What is inside this box? This box of mysteries. Could it Leaf, be? Open the box. Don't be afraid. Open, open it. it. Find out what's inside the box. It's glowing. Wait. <laughs> This is actually pretty funny because in the books the belt isn't magical with the, uh, it's the without the gems. So seeing it do this magically. Oh, uh, what is this? Del Toro quest. Oh, that's an ugly transition sequence. But I will remind myself yet again. Kid show. Oh, was this based off a? Of I wonder if they use this as a trading card game. I mean, I know those are popular in Japan, but ah. Uh, It's the belt of Del Tora. It's the. <gasps> okay, seriously, why is the belt magic now? Glowed. It's the belt of. It Del shouldn't Tora. be magic without the That's gemstones. Right. I don't get it. Why is it here? Long ago, I lived in Del Pass. All right, now we're going into the backstory. Endon and I were brought up by the same nursemaid. You mean King Endon? Yes. We were best friends when we were younger. Jared recounted the years he spent growing up with King Endon. Alright, so basically Especially they just the day, took the, the book and kind of reversed Akbaba it here. The, the book actually starts with Jared's... Jared in the palace, and it that doesn't day, look like they're going to go I into any detail broken, right here, but it starts with Jared Endon in the palace. Escape. Disguised, they left Del to find a safe place and to hide. And then it transitions so the to Leaf. Away? And eventually Leaf's gonna depart the His house, first but... Priority was their safety. For right now, because let's we just all listen knew to what they the got to would be searching for them. We also knew that we needed to keep the belt separate from the king. Since the belt was broken and the seven gems scattered, it could no longer be used to fight against the Shadow Lord. But even if the gems were put back on the belt... That's right. Only the heir to the throne has the ability to wield the belt's power. Uh, that's the actually not well explained so here. In the, the book, the, um, the king was rather power. incompetent, the belt which is how the land fell into despair and, and stuff. No to this evil so that's why they took away the belt from this him as a way to give the belt king to his Endon heir when the time arrived. The time but um, here it's kind of just, hey, we just decided to split the belt and the king separately just because... Only then can the successor come out of hiding. The magic of the gems will bring forth the king's heir. Endon knew that he'd failed the belt and could no longer call upon its power. Okay, okay, they're kind All of explaining it right here. the fate of his heir. Then I must go. I will find all seven gems, rebuild the belt, and together with our new king, we will defeat the Shadow Lord. I will free Del Toro once and for all. <laughs> That's different from the book. Mother? Leaf doesn't volunteer. Please. He's kind of forced into it by his dad, but... I knew this day would come, and yet I still can't bear the thought of letting you go. 
Mother. Did he speak? No, he did, his lips didn't move right there. It is based on the stories that travelers have Animation quality at its finest. Oh, oh, oh. That was animation quality at its finest. The gem wasn't even in its teeth, it was kind of just floating there. The Lake of Tears. The City of the Rats. The Shifting Sands. Dread. <laughs> the Maze of the Oh, ho, ho. If you're gonna uh, use CG, at least be consistent with it. Don't go to terrible animation, animation still frames, and then back to CG. It kind of looks really bad. All right. Now please take off your jacket. What? You are to wear this at all times. At all times. Okay, that's a spoiler right there, but I won't go far into it. The belt that Auden made to protect Del Toro from evil has now been entrusted to you. But once again, this could just be because mm. Belt is of magic all the in this show. I forged over the years, this is my masterpiece. Uh, was he given a sword? I can't remember if he was given a sword. He probably was given a sword. Care for it well, I just can't remember it. And it looks that well. For you. And this is from me. A magic cloak. I wove this cloak How she got this magic cloak, this I don't cloak know, but it's magic. All strength, and with all so love, prepare for uh, now oh, what's his name? This is a very Frodo shenanigans power. with this show. I'll take care of it. Leaf, have a safe journey and come back soon. Oh, that Please. lip sync is awesome. I will, mother. It's kind of odd promise. that he's taller than his mother. Leaf, um, you have studied uh, he's all 16, that you need to know, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Well. I believe I'm sure I was taller than my mother at 16. I am. I guess I should go. Not so fast. Not so fast. I'm coming with you. The beggar yes, wants right. to come with you. Yeah. He'll be your traveling companion. Huh? Hmm. Oh, is he? Yep. Yeah, he just ripped off. Okay. <laughs> well, are you surprised? <laughs> He just flipped off half his hair! <laughs> now, shall we go, young master? Or rather, should I say, leaf? That must have been painful. Whoa, but, oh well. Door? I didn't know why this was why is there a secret Where passage does this in there? Tunnel end up anyway? Well, it branches off in several different directions, but we're going straight to the entrance of the forest. Follow okay, me. what? Yeah, that wasn't in the books either. They just kind of just left town. They didn't have a secret passage Indeed. directly Goodbye, to the Forest of Silence. Make sure you come home safely. In fact, they didn't even want to go to the Forest of Silence in the first place, because that was supposed to be the hardest area. But, um, once again, changing for adaptation's sake. Couldn't even bother to close the door. So, uh... Barda, wait up! Wait up! Hey, keep your voice down. Be quiet and follow me. Got it? Got it. What's with the attitude? Well, he's kind of bringing him. a 16-year-old boy... Oh, that hey, background. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. <laughs> this is going quite a while. Uh, uh, hmm? uh, I'm just seriously standing there. He's just standing there in the middle of the forest. Oh no! Are you gonna pull your sword, Leaf? Hey, get down! Well, oh well, Farda just murdered that guard. Uh, okay. Well, funny enough, the guards in the books are actually humans, and they do Others bleed. Let's go. But I guess they can't keep that PG. I guess they have to keep it PG somehow, so children aren't emotionally scarred when they here. watch this. Funny enough, the, those books are actually hmm. pretty dark for children's books. I mean, they're not, oh my goodness, this is, uh, I have no mouth and Thank I must scream dark, but... They're actually, there's actually do. quite a bit of gore and you to thank me illusions to death is, and stuff like that. You ever since you were in one of the Dragons boy. of Del Toro books, there's and a senator who's tortured you? by having his fingers cut off. It was you the whole time? Of course, okay, that's secret, secret time. passage. I didn't Apparently this world father. is full of he secret passages that no one knows about. 
You live there too? Yes. I was one of the guards stationed on the Actually, wall. no. That what that's not the case. He was a uh, maid's son and he ran away. And he ran away with Jared whenever uh all hell broke loose, baby. Oh, <laughs> those flames weren't even beasts. moving. <laughs> By fate, I you came can tell he's young because he doesn't have two his beard. Travelers. I didn't. Okay, know so here's another thing. He was clearly Queen Shard. He was clearly pushed off that wall. So then, how would he have? Uh, has explained everything. What? How would he have watch? How would he have survived it's that been fall? My mission to that doesn't make any sense. Deltora. Not to Dude, if he you. even if he survived that fall, Listen, he would be crippled I have like no intention of Jared. A but to you, oh well. Hmm. Hmm? What's going on? Wait, don't tell me they're already in the forest of silence. They can't already be in the forest of silence. Yep, they are already in the forest of silence. So let me remind you, that guard was just standing in the middle of a very dangerous area that contains one of the gems. I have no idea why he would just sit there. Oh no! Oh, that looks bad. Barda! Beware! Tell me, are you sure that they went this way? How would you know they were there? They used a secret passage! Well then, there's no need for us to go after them any longer. Oh my goodness, they can't even be bothered to animate the wind. Oh, I just saw one. What are these things? Just stay calm. My ears! My ears! They hurt! Yes, yeah, slash at the floating eyes that they can not bother to animate. They're just kind of floating fall. around. Okay. <laughs> that was a bite. He just bit him. Like that. It, it, and it didn't even bother animating it. It just blew up right next to him. Okay. Barda! Alright, so... That was episode one. Yeah, that was a rollicking good start. Song's nice, at least. Uh, what, 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 what kind of horses were those? What? I don't remember that in the books. Okay, um... Alright, so... Oh, oh. Yep, I am definitely looking up who animated this, because they didn't do a very good job. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. That's the end of episode one, and I hope to see you in episode two. I can't believe it. Our adventure just began and already we've been captured by evil monsters. Could this be the end already? Then, out of nowhere, this mysterious girl appears. Next episode, Jasmine, Girl of the Forests.